Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. On behalf of our director, Gary Gillette, and members of your Missoula City Band, Bill Roach, saying welcome to our second performance for the 2012 season. It's good to see you all here. Would you please join us now as we honor our nation with the playing of our national anthem. If you have anyone coming over and you would like us to make announcement and maybe dedicate a good old Rosencrantz march to them, get that information to us a little bit before we start and we will do our best to do so. Also, birthdays. If you have birthdays, we have a great happy birthday we'd like to play for you. And we do have some birthdays today. We have... In our band, Tucker Squires turns 21. He's a trumpet player. Stand up, Tucker, say it all. Play, play, play. We have Sonia Olson. She's a university trombone player. Where's Sonia? Sonia, are you here? Sonia, she's bashful. <laughs> she's not here. Anyway, Amelia Young turns a grand one-year-old today. We're in the general areas of Amelia. All right, there she is. And we also, this is a kind of a special concert for us. We have our UM band group here with us. Where are you guys? Make some noise. There they are. <laughs> Bandy. Uh, <laughs> well, let us now play Happy Birthday. favorite of ours and we try to play it every year. We're going to play Old Comrades. At the turn of the century when one went to the park to hear a band play, one would most certainly hear stately stirring strains such as those found in this march. Old Comrades characterizes the band style of that period very well. Written in 1879 by German composer Karl Tyke, it's long been a favorite of the city bands and for that matter one of the world's most popular marches. 
Off the Kameraden, or Old Comrades, by Carl Teicher. City Band has played almost every year for the last 50 years. We move on to a piece that's making its City Band debut. Based on Irish folk tunes, Aisling Gaelic is a new work composed in 2010 by William Harbison. Here's our Irish fantasy, Aisling Gaelic. Thank you. 
we're going to have our first soloist come on uh, stage now. Our guest artist, Thomas Beatty, has uh, played about 10 years with the city band. He's a local guy, graduated from Sentinel High, the University of Montana, and uh, was Gary's student teacher. So you know he's pretty tough, he survived that. In, in addition to be a fantastic horn player, he's got one heck of a singing voice, fine tenor. He works in the Haver Public Schools as a choir teacher, so we're lucky to have him here for the summer. Dad Ross plays the horn in the band, and Sister Allie is one marvelous clarinet player. The title of Thomas's piece is Villanelle. In French, the word villanelle implies a rustic song or dance. It was used during the 16th century to describe songs which used simple language and were of a pastoral or country nature. Many composers since that time, particularly French composers, have used the word as title for both vocal and instrumental works. This one was written by Paul Dupin, famous perhaps you would know him uh, for the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Thomas has been teaching horn at the band camp. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present Thomas Beatty playing Villanelle by Paul Dukas.
There we go. Great job. Great job on that, Thomas. Not an easy piece to play. Thank you. Wonderful. You did it well. Um, we're now going to send our collection professionals out to put the touch on you. I mean, to ask for donations. Corey, Leslie, and Janelle. And don't forget, folks, uh, they have that marvelous Rosencrantz CD uh, available for We're down to 3,000 of them, so they're going quickly. <laughs> Not to put any pressure on you. Ah, coming up to the podium will be Professor James Smart. Uh, and he... Bad, bad spacing on my notes. He is going to conduct us in our next piece. Originally from Coeur d'Alene, Professor Smart is a director of bands at the University of Montana and is in charge of the University of Montana band camp. An outstanding trumpet player, Dr. Smart has chosen to lead us in O Magnum Mysterium. The work is a responsorial <laughs> chant from the Matins of Christmas. A number of composers have reworked the chant into a contemporary setting, and many are quite notable. This version is by Morton Lauritsen with your city band under the direction of James Smart.
director James Smart. Thank you so much, James. That was a very powerful and nice piece. Ah, I spy Mr. Gillette. He's making his way to the podium. Next we have our Rosencrantz du Jour. Written in 1910, never before played by us. Like I say, this is our 10th anniversary of playing a different Rosencrantz piece and never repeating ourselves. And don't worry, we found 13 new ones. We should go on for another two years with this at least. And, so, and somebody has very good musical taste out in the audience. <laughs> Uh, written in 1910, let's dedicate this piece uh, to the staff and students of this year's band cramp, George Rosencrantz Electoric March. <laughs> Making her city band debut is Neela Getz. She's one of those talented people who can play an instrument. She plays tuba with us, as well as sing. Neela's going to sing an aria from Bizet's opera, Carmen, and would like to uh, talk about the piece she selected. Hi everybody. I'd like to say hi to all my Bandcamp students. 
my name is Mila Getz. I'm a senior at the University of Montana, and tonight I'll be performing for you Jeudi. It's Michaela's aria from Bizet's opera Carmen. Um, in this, she's been tracking her love across the country, and she's just encountered um, the cave where she knows that he's hiding out with a bunch of bandits. So she's very scared, and she's pleading for God to help her and give her strength.
as an announcer, I'm not supposed to be out of words, but my goodness, that was just wonderful. Neely, you'll have to sing with us again. I think for that round of applause, you're, you're welcome back. Good Lord, that was wonderful. Well, we have another new piece to us. When Mary McCain comes out to play trumpet with us from California, she always comes bearing good music, and this is no exception. Mary, where are you? Say hello. Thank you. There's Mary. Thank you so much for all you do with us. Written in 2001 by Melinda Zaynor, this piece is entitled The Front Porch Swing, dedicated to the New Horizons Band of Indianapolis. We'll hope you, we hope you'll enjoy this catchy swing too. instructor coming up to uh, display his talents for us tonight. This is uh, Ben Kirby. He's played us, played with us before and we're always glad he's here with us. Uh, a little bit about Ben. He's performed with the Rome Festival Orchestra in Rome, Italy last summer. He's performed in the brass sections of the Billings, Great Falls, and Missoula Symphonies for their season subscription series concert this past year. He's conducted MTC's 21 show run of West Side Story this past spring. He teaches private lessons in Missoula. He's teaching an annual band camp for years. One can only wonder what Ben does with all his spare time. He looks forward to teaching tuba and euphonium at the University of Montana School of Music this coming fall. Ben's wife, Jennifer Kirby, is the band director of the Florence Carlton School. They have two sons, Evan and Owen, and from such a musical family, we as band people expect much of these two young men. Now, he's going to play a, 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 a work by Joseph DeLuca. 
Joseph DeLuca was an early 20th century Italian euphonium soloist who toured the U.S. with Sousa's band. That means he was very, very, very good. He wrote up quite a bit on solo material, but much of his music has been lost. Only two solo pieces with wind band and piano accompaniments has survived. The sentimental has since been set for cornet and horn as well as euphonium, but not for tuba. Ben took the piano accompaniment, transposed it, and made his own wind band arrangement to fit the melodic range of the tuba. This is Ben Kirby playing his arrangement of sentimental. Ben Kirby! Thank you. 
Thanks so much. Hello. Thanks so much, Ben. Wonderful. We're at our last number, folks. Remember, there's no band show concert next week here at Bonner Park. We'll be playing the 4th of July at the South Cave Mall starting at 9.30. We'll see you here July 11th at 8 o'clock. Special thanks tonight to our guests, artists, Thomas Beatty, James Smart, Neela Getz, and Ben Kirby. A nice round of welcome to one of the guests on On behalf of Gary and the band, thank you so much for letting us share our music with you tonight. We're going to finish with a march I'm sure many of you will recognize. Here's the march from TV's Hogan's Heroes.